Psych cozy out the first time with that, and I, I hope that this is that's what's going to happen oh, again. Man, I completely forgot this was a rematch that we yep. were looking for. Yep, this is I your am. rematch. Yeah, that is. Yeah, so we'll see if the uh, prophecy can be fulfilled. Yeah. <laughs> I really think this Peach is going to take the first game. I think, uh, you know, especially on this stage, it's so big. Let's Peach. Uh, can, I, can I give you the It's going to let Peach run around quite a bit. Uh, and just stay away from Ganondorf and get some free damage and look for opportunities. Sorry, I got, I got chewed out by the owner of the bar. It's not good. He didn't get chewed out, actually. He, want, he wanted to take this chair, and I was like, it's insane. Yeah, that's so great that the, you just told the owner. I did. All right, so now you're sitting on both of them. I, I am. All right, yeah. let's uh, focus in Sorry, on this okay, match here. No, it's all good. It's all good. Um, so it looks like Cozy's been doing a great job of controlling the yeah. space. Doing things like that forward air is what you'd expect the Peach to be able to beat the Ganondorf with. Oh, my goodness. That side B really can't be punished except for a certain angle. Yeah. Cozy's been playing heavies this enti the entire end of this tournament. Yeah. So, so he's very comfortable with the Ganondorf right now. Absolutely. Oh, interesting choice there, but you know, what, what's the Ganondorf going to do? You can't go down there. Maybe you can short hop down there, yeah. but you know, it's really hard to hit. You know, it's not like an Ivy Sword down there that has a big uh, hitbox to right. spike people. It's, it's much tougher. Now, one thing go. I'm curious if we'll get to see... Oh, Ooh, yeah, that's it. That ends I don't it. think he was going to get back anyways, but... I said it earlier, and I'm going to say it again. Cozy's turn-up game has been perfect. Turn up, turn up, he turn up, turn up. up. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a radish? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're going we're gonna to leave it with the, uh, with the turn up. All right. So we're seeing more capital on top of Ganondorf for the second stock. He just got to 40% on his first stop. So, you know, this is really how you would think the matchup would play out. You know, Great. Yeah. You talk about Ganondorf being able to, um, you know, really uh, kill people quick, but, you know, if one turn up hits and the Ganondorf's off stage, you know, chances are he's not going to be able to recover. Yeah. You know, Ganondorf's recovery is good if it if he has his jump as well as his upbeat, but once he loses his jump, he's, he's got nothing to rely on. So yeah. that turn up is going to be... Oh, oh, barely missed it there. Yeah, that and that would have done it again. Oh my goodness! Oh, wow, he just kept Psyched him out. Yeah, I wonder if he didn't throw on purpose to uh, knowing he was gonna fall off the ledge. He was spamming his shield, so then whenever he was in the air, he just forced uh, 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 the air dodge. Yeah, the air dodge, and then he he ran out of room. All right, we're seeing some damage on Peach now. This is not, again, this is not something Oh, that, there oh, it is. Yep, exactly. It looks like they caught him in the middle of a roll there. I think, yeah. I think the Peach tried to roll, and, you know, that sword hits. All of those smashes hit on both sides. The, 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 the choice to give Ganondorf his sword for this game has given him a considerable boost, or a, um, yeah, boost, whatever. Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Buff. A little dash Buff. dancing. Buff, there you go. Buff, there you go. Trying to use the game really Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to uh, act like we're uh, professionals in this community. Looking for the up air there. Nice little juggle. No, that's a really nice move. It's one of his uh, fastest airs. Ooh, yeah, that back, back fist. air is just nasty. Because he's going to be real patient here. So here's the issue. If you're going to wait for the peach to just be floating, you know, what's your plan when it's coming up to the, the ledge? I don't see a whole lot of, you know, good ledge trapping happening. No. Um, Playing it very safe. And when you're down a stock, you know, you really need to find a kill. Well, I would he, think it was. So, well, if Ganondorf goes off stage to, to uh, ledge guard, all peach has to do is go back a little bit. He's going to completely whiff and he's going to be out of options. And he's oh, done. That's man. Bad, man. Game 2-0. That turn up game is no joke. <laughs> All right. All right. So, what do you think? Do you think Blau's going to switch here? You know, he's proven that his Ganondorf's good enough, but yeah. the Fox got beat uh, really bad as well. So I think I think his Fox was handled a little bit better than his Ganondorf was. I think that I think he's I think he ought to stick with his Ganondorf and just focus, focus on his timing, focus on his smashes and when it's going to hit and when it isn't. Uh -huh. um, Oh, wow, Lucina. Oh, now, I did see him playing this earlier. This is one of his mains. No, his ability to switch characters is really impressive. He's, he's you know? got a lot of answers. Ganon, I, Gloud's one of the people that I train with. He will pull out a Fox, he'll pull out a Pikachu, he'll pull out a Gandalf, he'll pull out a, a Lucina. I like it. Yeah, he I think Lucina's got a great... Because she's one of the only characters with aerials that can challenge features yes. forward. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. But oh, he right does not now, have his jump there. Cozy. He can get back, luckily. Yeah. 
Cozy's not sweating this character change, though. Ooh, great punish there. Yeah. To know that you could just back air, and there it is again. And the, and Marth Lucina's side B, I think, has been buffed as well. It's really hard it's to It's actually punish. a viable combo move. It's so fast, but uh, Cozy's able to predict it perfectly. Seen yeah, some I mean, whiffs. Cozy is looking very strong. Yeah. Let's see our, you know, this is one of the challenges of playing so many characters, right? Is yep. that you've got to change your mindset. You know, the buttons you intuitively, by muscle memory, want to hit are going to yep. change. I'm not saying you can't do it. We've seen a lot of great players do it. Uh, but it makes the game like an added level of difficulty, um, you know, to, to be versatile in that yeah. way. Yeah, and with, an, with as big of a cast as you have, it's so easy to mix things up or make wrong inputs, thinking you're going for a move and just to find out you're playing the wrong character. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, once again, I can't emphasize enough that we're not up there because perhaps we're not as good, but, uh, you, you know, stop telling them that. Oh, not, okay, me. I'll talk <laughs> no. personally. Me, Parker Eddingfield. All right, and good. we've got a lead from Lucina now. Yeah. I had completely forgot that we were on the first stock still. Yeah, I mean, All right. he really brought that back. And yeah. to put 50% already, he could die now and have a sizable lead, I, so let's see if we can get more damage. I think Blout's officially comfortable with his Lucina. He's not whiffing, he's not missing as much anymore, so. And you know, anytime you have your jump, now that's and, a, oh, see, he knew that he had to use his jump early to survive, and so yeah. he's trying to compensate by catching the Radish for the counter yeah. and get closer to the stage. Cozy throws it the wrong way, but Blau's playing really smart. I mean, yes. that's, that's serious consciousness. This is, he's got Ooh, more... Oh, but there's there. the back air, and off he goes. Yeah, crappy kangaroo. Uh, Cozy was not at the tournament last month. He was out of town. So uh, he was at uh, January, or December, and this one. And you can see, you know, these finals, I mean, even these, uh, you know, this loser's finals match, uh, you know, people are getting so much better as the months go on. Nice yeah, counter there. Absolutely. Uh, keeping Cozy honest. I'll say, hey, you're not going to rush me down for this entire match. Definitely. Uh, but you just see the, the, you know, the finesse of the players, the, the, um, the way they're changing characters, all that stuff. As, as we go on here, I think Smash is only going to get more and more. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know. It's gonna, yeah, we, we, I mean, uh, December, we had 20 people. 20 people showed up. It was like the day after Smash Ultimate came out. So, you know, nobody was feeling, nobody was like super intelligent in the game yet. Yeah, they're just having fun. They're yeah. playing characters they like. Maybe but now, figured out a couple of cheesy things. Yeah, and now we've got the January, we had a huge turnout with all of these amazing, uh, you know, contestants. Um, and this one, it's just even better. Oh, really nice air dodge there. And just great job of waiting the Radish off stage. So let's see what he's going to do here. Oh, he knew. Oh, wow. Man. Now, Blau's playing really great off stage, but the issue is you can't be in that position and, and win a lot. So even yeah. if you're really smart, well, let's see if you can get a kill here. Oh, oh wow. very nice counter. It's so frustrating. You know, you so finally feel like you see an opportunity, and that toad comes out so fast. <sighs> He's angry now. He's looking for smashes. Yeah. <sighs> that dash. Peach's dash is just so murderous. Yeah, especially catching people on, on landing. Two hits. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, oh there it. it is. Wow. 2 0 again. Krabby Kangaroo was right. We got Cozy going to the grand finals. We got Cozy.